Hey there friends, thanks for checking in and welcome to another video in my series called One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. Before we get into it, I want to talk about my hearing protection. You may notice that it's a little bit different. These are made by Axel, it's called the Ghost Strike 2. They are electronic, they have little volume tabs on there. I can increase or decrease the volume. It actually enhances the hearing much like electronic muffs has that lever there you can hear your surroundings i can hear everything going on i can hear myself talk but i don't have the big muffs here and they're very comfortable so it's easier for me to make videos instead of having to take out my plugs i could just keep them in and yet it deafens the sound when a shot is fired so it's it's really nice axle go strike two but the handgun that I'm featuring today is a Beretta 92X Performance. I told you I would bring this out again. I love this handgun. It's a heavy handgun. All steel frame, 55 ounces loaded with 16 rounds. And it is made for competition. Vertex style grip, a little bit thinner. Nice texturing on the back strap and the front strap. Ambidextrous thumb safety. That is frame mounted, okay, a little bit different. Full pick rail, sawtooth serrations, that's what Breta is calling it, both the front and rear, adjustable rear sight, fiber optic front sight, 4.9 inch barrel. Flared out magwell, extended beaver tail, and what they are calling the S trigger. The S trigger is lighter, four pound single action trigger pull with a very short reset right there, and the double action pull is seven pounds that is really nice i'm calling this my favorite handgun happy to have it all right so let's take a few shots here let's start with the rabbit yeah i love this thing i think Breda did a great job with the 92x performance model Beautiful looking handgun. It fires great. It's been great for me. And I just can't say enough about it. Now let's get to that shotgun. The shotgun and the rifle that I'm featuring today was loaned to me by my good friend Greg. Shout out to him for helping me keep this series going. I really appreciate it, Greg. But he has a Mossberg 500. Goes about 10 years old. Check that out. Aftermarket stock there. It's a Black Hawk knock stock. Okay, all the way into the grip squeeze those tabs right there and it folds in and then you can put it back not the most comfortable stock but it allows you to fold it up 18 and a half inch barrel bead front dot extension on the mag tube allows seven shells in the magazine does have uh, another front sight there and a ghost ring rear sight so you would actually align the ghost ring sight with this one here and not the bead it has a heat shield here and Mossberg still makes shotguns that have a heat shield, but this one goes about 10 years old. So it has a little different look to it compared to some of the ones they're putting out in today's market. Corn cob, four end, and I haven't shot it yet, but I certainly expect this to perform great just as we would expect. Let's go ahead and take a few shots. with a little flinch bonus at the end. I guess that's what happens when you shoot 12 gauge. I'll go ahead and check clear here. And it is, all right, we're good. So there it is, Mossberg 500. Getting it done at the range, thanks Greg. But now let's get to that rifle. The rifle that I'm featuring today is a very common AK variant called the Wasser. 1063 imported by Century Arms. Romanian Wasser, people were picking these up for 250 bucks back in the day at their local hardware store. Of course, those had the beat up wood stock. This is the polymer version. It does have some additional aftermarket parts put on like the flash hider, you can see that there. The grip, the rail up top here, all right, does have the adapter over here where you can mount the rail, but the rail was placed up here and a Bushnell uh, from the owner was placed on there as well. But it is 7.62 by 39, we know that. But the Wasser used to be a budget 
rifle. Now this thing is going for over a grand, closer to $1,300. Things sure have changed from those $250 days at the local hardware store, but a polymer stock and fore end makes it a little more tactical looking, but the bits and pieces and the guts of this is still a Romanian Wasser AK variant. Very sweet, love the round. I'm just gonna shoot into the berm here. I don't even have the optic covers off, it's starting to rain, but I'm going to take a few shots and hopefully bring back some old memories with the Wasser 1063. And that's it. All right. Love the Wassers, love AKs, and this one is pretty sweet. Thanks for watching another video in my series called One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.